got another shop for them. Ball below feet. Ball below feet. Now, compared to the uphill, yeah. that we've talked about. I find this loads easier. When I'm setting up, I'm gripping at the top of my club because that ball's further away from me. You don't feel like you lose any control that way? Not really, because uh, like a wedge is the shortest club in my bag and I'm quite confident with it, but um, I wouldn't necessarily feel like I've lost much. It's not a lot, it's an inch from yeah, me, yeah. not even yeah. that. I'm not right on the top, but I've still got a bit yeah. compared to what ball above my feet I was like on the right down onto the metal on the, on the, yeah on the yeah. metal there so no it doesn't bother me as such we're going to the white flag so we've got quite a bit of green to work with I've still got my 58 because okay. I'm gonna twist loft off and make this ball run a bit okay so you're gonna you're gonna use the turn of the face yeah. twisting the face slightly to reduce because any face plane tilt going this way I'm just getting rid of it okay so you're reducing loft so that's gonna basically you're gonna make it run more yeah so your descent angle into the ground. Well, with that the doesn't ball. change. I still try and keep my angle of attack and my club really low to the ground all the time. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, I'm just literally trying to take a bit of loft off to correct where this angle yeah. is now pointing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's run this one up, shall we? So maybe a bit more posture to get down as well. A little bit That's more about over. it. I'm, also, I'm still wanting to move this foot back as well, just to keep that club nice and low to the ground. Yeah. I'm pretty much doing that with all of my short game shots. I'm never really that way. So I'll beat that down. Oh my word. Beat that. <laughs> Could win the series for you, that shot. You've got two clubs here. I have. Shall I? Um, what are you doing? Shall I have a chat about them? So, I carry a 60. Yeah. And I carry a 56. Yeah. <laughs> Amazingly, I use this more out the sand, but I, you know, I do like to use this one because it's got a nice bit of bounce on it. 14 bounce compared to 10. For this particular shot, because we've chose uh, chose to play to that white flag. Mm -hmm. We've got plenty of green to work with. Yeah. So I always find when I get my 60 out, I don't get the run that I want to get with it. You're using, taking taking loft twists off, and, you're twisting yeah. to reduce that loft. I just want to keep it simple. So I'm going to move clubs. Yeah. You've done it probably, you've moved your lofts there. I'm going to move loft by literally just changing my club and keeping it as simple as I can. So for me, I, I'm going to try and feel, I don't want the club to work almost straight here. I don't want to feel like I'm coming more in this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm almost going to just try and feel like I'm playing with the slope a little bit more. So I'm going to try and feel like I'm getting a bit more, maybe a little bit more out to in. Okay. And, allow, and almost allow that face plane tilt that we've talked about before to feel like it's as it's tilting up, I feel like the ball's gonna pop off to the right a fraction. So just by me counteracting that by swinging just a fraction left, We'll um, sort it's not that a big out. shot, but it should just balance it out for me. Like you, I just feel like the obviously the slope is pulling me towards the ball a little bit. Yeah. So I just kind of take a little bit of flex out of the knees, and then I tilt a fraction more. So I don't, I don't kind of squat. I see a lot of players kind of wanting to squat into the shot here. Yeah. Um, I just feel that that doesn't give me the room with my my arms. Or yeah, hands and that's the probably where I'm dropping my foot back a little more. <laughs> You're to giving give yourself it, give room. me that space. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm feeling like flex out of the knees, getting a bit more over the ball with all of the shots around the green. I'm generally trying to get my sternum over the top of the ball, and then I just again I'm just trying to keep it really really simple, straight back, straight through on this sort of path, following my line of my feet. And try and get inside you. Oh, it's left, it's and it's short. Short. That's Still another a win. decent shot. That is a decent shot. But yeah. you know, we are up against Better. Magic Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there he is. It's happened again. It has happened again. That's a gimme. That one. Yeah, Get you that can that. have that. Thank I'll you. Probably will hold mine, but you can have that. Very good, Dan. Enjoy that little series. Yeah, nice little series that.
all awkward uh, lies around the greens. Yeah, obviously the series has been made up with a few different shots around the greens. Hopefully this will get you out onto the short game areas and try and get you to play with different shots. I see so many members that come out certainly to this area, they just go and chuck it on the flat area and then just play up. I mean, even the chap that was just here now hitting yeah. some shots, he's, I know he's warming up and getting himself ready for a round, but don't be afraid to play the hard shots. You know, ball below your feet, ball above your feet. Those are difficult shots to Build play. Build those skills up. Build the skills up, absolutely right. Put your comments down below. Let us know how you're getting on with your short game. Is it something you try to do? Let us know what are good, are the easy shots for you and maybe the harder shots. Also tell us a little bit about the wedges that you use when you play different types of shots. Don't be afraid to experiment. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you. Enjoy that.